Looking for the perfect Lenovo laptop, but not sure which one suits your needs? We've got you covered. Today, we're breaking down the key differences between Lenovo's entry-level and premium series laptops. My name is April, I'm from Skycomp, and today I'm gonna to walk you through the differences between the E, the T, the X, and the P series laptops. I'm sure perusing the website, you've seen Lenovo's coverage of all of these laptops and you might be wondering what the difference between the letters and what that actually means for you as a consumer. Let's start with the intro level laptops. These are going to be the E's, the V's, and the L's, but today we're just going to be looking at the E's. There's only slight differences between them. So here we have the E14. This is the smaller of the two options. You could also get an E16, which is more around this size, but still has all these features. Up until recently, you could not get the bells and whistles with this unit. You weren't getting the backlit keyboard. Touchscreen was not an option. Those are now options in the newer series. You are still going to have some handcuffs with this, such as it is predominantly made out of plastic. Um, so therefore the durability is not as great. All ThinkPad laptops are mil spec tested. So they have some durability, just some are tested more rugged than others. The E-Series is fantastic for your lower end admin tasks. So if you're using office applications, just using the websites, things like that, this should suit your needs. You can get it in an i5 or U5 as Intel's now got the ultra processors. So you can get this in an i5, U5, i7 or U7 series. With this, my recommendation is not to go past an i5. Because of the heat issues with this, you are not going to see the performance in an i7 or a u7 that you would in any of the other three. If you're a student and you're looking for something a little flashier than what you're seeing here, including the E-Series, I would look at the ThinkBook line as opposed to the ThinkPad line. They have a couple of options that are more geared towards consumer use than business use. Going up the series, the next we're going to talk about is the T-Series. This comes in a smaller version, a T14, if you're looking for something of this size. Please be aware, if you go to a 14 inch as opposed to a 16 inch, you're gonna lose that number pad. It doesn't have enough space to have that. So that's one consideration when you're also looking at size. The T-Series is predominantly made out of titanium, which is obviously much stronger than plastic, so it can handle a little bit more rough use. Um, it has a spill tray embedded into the cover, so if you were to spill coffee or wine or whatever else liquid you're drinking into it, it's not going to break down as quickly as like an E-Series or a ThinkBook would. Would not test out that theory, but it has been tested for it. Like I mentioned with the E-Series, if you wanted to go up to an i7, this is the system I would recommend. It is built better to handle the heat that it will create from going up in processors. I often recommend this computer when working with law firms and accounting firms. It's, it can handle a bit more data intensive. We're still not getting a dedicated graphics card, so this is not my recommendation for designers, but it can handle a little bit more of a data load because of being the ability to upgrade to that i7. It has more upgrade features than the E does as well. And with the titanium, it's just built a little bit more secure and you can feel that when you're holding it. Another feature that I find that working with accounting firms and law firms that they appreciate is the camera options. I can get an IR camera in a T-series, which is required for facial recognition when using Windows. This allows you to also upgrade some of the security features that can be unlocked with Vantage through Lenovo. If we go up from the T-series, I'm going to need to understand some more of your, your core needs in order to determine if you should be going with the X or with the P. These are very different laptops that suit very different needs, but are equally fantastic laptops on the Lenovo line. First, I'm going to talk about the X-series. This is going to be more, again, my data users, accounting firms, law firms, insurance, anywhere you're not requiring a graphics card. With this laptop, once you pick it up, you're immediately going to notice the difference. It is extremely light. This is about two pounds. It is made predominantly of carbon fiber, making it extremely light. Also brings up the price a little bit, making this Lenovo's premium laptop. This is a computer that I'm recommending if you are a data user that also needs to travel quite a bit, as you can throw this into your backpack or your handbag, and you're barely going to feel it in there. You can bring it wherever you need to. They've recently redesigned it. Um, the camera now pops out a little bit of the bezel, as you can see here. This used to be flat and the screen used to look a lot bigger because of that. They were able to slim down the bezel by putting that technology up in this top bar, making it even smaller than the old generations used to be. 
Another thing to note about this is talking about the mil spec testing. This undergoes some severe testing. I've seen videos where they've been set on fire, where they've been frozen and they still work. Carbon fire, carbon fiber is pretty much indestructible. It is difficult to break. This can take a drop and it will still keep working. The durability is unmatched amongst the line, making it extremely good for travel. Restrictions with this unit is you are not getting any larger than a 14 inch, which means if you need a number pad, this computer is not an option for you. This unit you're going to get about 14 hours of battery life on. They also have just released the Aura line of X1 Carbons. Those have the additional NPU. This will extend your battery life if you're using any AI driven processes. The last computer we're going to talk about is the P-Series. If you are looking for something a little bit more robust than the T-Series, but you also have a graphics needs, you're an engineer, you're a creator, anything like that, I'm going to recommend the P-Series. It looks very similar from a distance to the T-Series, but once you get close, you're going to notice it is a lot thicker. The system is uh, it's heavy. They refer to them as mobile workstations for a reason. With these, they are large enough to be able to put in a graphics card. In the P-Series, this is the P16V. In the P-Series, you're able to get up to a 20 gig graphics card, and you can also change the lines, the NVIDIA ADAs, the RTX, depending on what your requirements are. These are fairly robust. I would say they're in line with how robust the T16s are. We don't see a lot of these come in for repair, and they are used by a lot of the engineer firms that we work with. They're used in pretty rugged situations. Battery life on this is very much going to be dependent on the applications that you are using. If you are using something that is very demanding on the processor and the GPU, it is going to lower that battery. And as I expect that most users that need this laptop are using more demanding applications, I would make sure that you have a power supply nearby and I wouldn't expect this to give you more than six to seven hours. This unit is a P16. It also comes in a P14 option, however, because what you require is typically on the screen, I do not go through many P14s. Now for a quick overview, if you're just wanting the gist of this video, if you are a basic user, you just need email, a few applications, your needs are not very demanding. E-Series, it's great. They're going to run you about $1,200 a unit. If you're looking for something with just a little bit more professional feel, I would suggest a T-Series. This is our standard at SkyComp. Most of our employees as well as our technicians use this computer. And if you are having very specific needs or you're just looking for something with that premium feel, again, I would be looking at the X-Series or the P-Series depending on your needs. This video was a very brief overview of these computers. If you have any specific questions or specific needs, feel free to reach out to the comments and we will try our best to get back to you with the answers on what you might need. Thank you for watching.